really hate my midsection. I despise my thighs. I hate my upper torso. My gut. Man boobs. Chubby belly. Chest. My legs. Stomach. The chin. Belly. Breasts. Arms. Double thighs. Chin. Thighs. Stomach. Hip thighs. thighs. A chest. Waist. <sighs> These 12 people have one thing in common. They're fat. I weigh 330 pounds. 175. 310 pounds. I weigh 436 pounds. Two teams. Go! Go! Two trainers. Their whole life are changing. How bad do you want it? I like to push people. Go, go, go. Very hard. I have no interest in drilling them into the ground. Oh, oh. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Two diets. All carbs must stop Sunday morning. Eat the proper things that you can eat more of. If you cheat, don't lie. One goal. Lose weight or face elimination. It's time to cut the fat. I could easily be the one who goes home tonight. I would like to think I won't be the one because I want to stay. I I need to stay. And I want to be the one you love forever. And I need to be everything you want. I feel embarrassed for, like, my wife. And even though I know she loves me and she loves me just the way I am, I want to make it worth our time, the sacrifice that we're both making. I think I am here to be a role model for my family. So they can see, like, if she could do it, then I could do it. If I lost the weight and was more comfortable with myself, having someone love me and loving someone will be so much easier. But it won't be easy. They'll be tested physically. Down, 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 move it. You can do it, baby. You're almost done. And emotionally. I can lose weight. Say it to me. I can lose weight. Tell me again. Hunger will take its toll. I need a donut. Need some. I'm just hungry. Causing tempers to flare. Busting my ass out there, Dave. Was that called for? Way to cave in and eat a cupcake. They'll face temptation. Over. And over again. Damn. But instead of counting calories, oh my God. the winner will be counting cash. $250,000. Oh, oh, I want that money. Will they survive the challenges? Brownies, one dollar. Please open it. I'm going to get in. Will they survive the game? That's disgusting. I am so appalled that he did that. Will they survive each other? Don't ever accuse me of lying. Your stubbornness is working against you. Because in the end, the biggest loser will be the biggest winner. How do I look? hard being overweight because you are limited to clothes and where you can shop and everything even in your airplane seat you always have to worry about your chub roll hanging over and you have to wear like granny panties to like suck you in and i don't know what i would be like then i've never been thin my my biggest fear is that I'm going to lose weight and people won't see me for who I am anymore and they're only going to see me because I'm cute.
Right now, food is such a huge part of my life, but it's a negative force in my life. I want to be healthy. I want to have children. I want to be an old grandpa someday, and I don't want to die when I'm 65 from a heart attack. I've got a wife, and I've got two young children I love very much. And I've recently had some doctor's visits that didn't really bring great results. You know, it's time for me to wake up and get really healthy, you know, to be around for them. When I go to the beach or public places like that that require you to be in just a bathing suit, I have no problem with that because I have a very high confidence level. In my mind, I'm 6'4 with a, you know, full head of hair. I'm confident, but I do need to lose weight. I'd love to be able to walk into any store and buy any kind of outfit I want. If you've ever been a kid who's overweight, there's a ton of insecurity that comes along with that. And I honestly think that it's something you never shake. Of course, I want to get skinny and look drop dead hot. But uh, above everything else, I think I am here to be a role model for my family. So they can see, like, if she could do it, then I could do it. I can't say a man's ever come out and said, you're too fat, I don't want to date you. They'll find some other reason, and you'll always wonder, is that one of the reasons, though, the real reason? I'm super confident in, like, my personality, and I always try to be in a good mood. I want to prove to myself that I can live a healthy lifestyle, and I just want people to know that if you're fat and you want to be skinny, you can do it. <laughs> this is the beginning. Like, my life is going to change forever from this point on. I'm Caroline. Welcome. Congratulations on your big walk. Think of it as your first step towards a brand new, healthier life. I know that you're all here for different reasons. Some of you want to lose weight. Some of you just want a healthier life. But this isn't one of those shows that's going to let you take the easy way out. There will be no stapling, sucking, or cutting. <laughs> this is about changing your life the old school way through diet and exercise. You will be inspired to make the right choices, but life is filled with temptation. So don't be surprised if you encounter a few along the way. And if you make it to the end, you're gonna leave here a completely different person. <laughs> <laughs> but before we change your future, let's take a look at your past. <laughs> this is some of the food that you all ate last week. Oh my gosh. I ate all that. That is gross. It kind of made me sick. Like, I can't believe I put that stuff in my body. That alone was a motivation right there that I, I didn't need to be eating all that food. I'm five feet tall. You know, this is what you know. This is your comfort food. So I want you to come over and take a good look at it and say goodbye because when you walk through those doors, you will no longer have this to comfort you. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I went right to my name. There's like five donuts lined up right at the front, across the front, and I'm like, that's me. They got me. That's me. Ryan made kind of a bad impression. He grabbed a donut and he freaking just straight up ate it. Like, right then and there, I was like, oh, God. You know, like, is he going to make it? Dad! <laughs> you need to settle. I drove through one too many times. Seeing all that food laid out there was actually a good thing, because I like to use the word laid out, like a body being laid out at a wake or a funeral. It's like saying goodbye to a loved one. Bye-bye, food. <laughs> Bye, food. Here we go. Okay, here is your new home, your 24-hour fitness gym. <laughs> oh, my God. So this is where you'll be working out. And um, this is the scale you'll be weighing in on. When I first saw that scale, it completely terrified me. That scale is a big mamma jamma standing up there. <laughs> don't worry. You don't have to weigh in until um, <laughs> right now. Now go change into your bathing suits. 
I don't even take my shirt off in front of my family. Uh, now I have to take my shirt off in front of America. All I kept thinking is, what did I get myself into? Coming up, it's way in time. Oh my God. It was humiliating. Then later, the trainers and the teams will race to cut the fat. Because tonight, someone will be sent packing. You don't have to weigh in until <laughs> right now. This is it. It is time to face the fat. America's going to see my man boobs, you know? And I want to get rid of that. I don't care who you are, any guy is embarrassed if he has boobs. Let's face it, I'm not here because I look like Vin Diesel, you know? Announcing my way to America, I felt really disgusted with myself for letting myself get that way. I feel like a slab of meat. After we get weighed, we get measured and dunked to determine our body fat percentage. It's a tough place to be in, so I felt bad for everybody. Humiliating. You have everybody out in America going, oh my God, I cannot believe that that girl is up there. And your weight was like this big on, I'm so embarrassed. During the weigh-in, I knew I had to do it. And I was able to like mentally prepare myself. that that was the heaviest I've ever been in my life. When I stepped on the scale for the first time and saw that the number was 242, it was completely embarrassing. But when you stand up there, no one says, well, you know, she's got muscle or she's toned. They're just looking up and saying, that's a fat girl. I know exactly why I'm so fat. I haven't exercised and I've ate like a pig. That's exactly why I'm so fat right now. I think I weighed in at 223. It could have said 300 pounds though, because that's how it felt. But then I just took a few deep breaths and thought, hopefully I'll never ever see this number again. I am definitely the big man on the ranch. The one thing that I would like to show America is that just because you're large and in charge doesn't mean you're lazy. OK, so you've all been weighed and measured and dunked. Yes, we yeah. have. There's another room in the house that I'm going to show you, so please follow me. I think you're going to love it. Inside 
inside each of your refrigerators is your biggest enemy, temptation. Fridges are filled with ice cream, pizza, pasta with meatballs. Macaroni and cheese, which is my favorite. <laughs> Makes me smile. I had a French dip sandwich the size of my head. I've never had one that big, but I'm willing to try. Sink my teeth into a nice piece of fried chicken. I'm not even going to lie to you. Fried chicken, that's a southern boy's sandwich. Extra crispy, spicy, whatever. It doesn't matter as long as it's fried. You'll notice that there are six of you on one side of the room and six of you on the other. That's because you have just been divided into teams. Oh, God. Oh, man. In order to stay in the game, you have to make sure that on weigh-in day, your team loses the most weight. Because the team that doesn't must vote one member out of their team. And in the end, only one of you can be the biggest loser. And that loser will walk out of here with a new body, a new life, and... $250,000. I heard the prize announced. I'm like, wow, I can book a trip to a very exotic beach, put my two-piece on, and strut around. I was motivated to lose the weight without the prize. So the prize, of course, just takes it up a notch. I want that money. It's just icing on the cake. Your official weights have been entered, and in one week, you'll be weighed again. You guys have had a great first day. I hope you get a lot of rest, because tomorrow, the trainers are coming. All right, so good luck, everybody, and the house is yours. I'm kind of glad we don't have this one because I wouldn't have to want to walk up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Bathroom's right here. That's a closet. Wait a minute, what the hell is this stuff? Whoa. Sour Patch Kids? Who's this? Go put, yeah. put this in their room. Yeah. <laughs> the blue team's strengths would be that we're all extremely laid back. Is that right? so <laughs> And I think that's a good thing. I say if somebody touches that, that fridge, they're the ones going. Yeah. I'm sorry. We, yeah. That's a good I agree. <laughs> gone. The red team seems to be very into their own way of doing things and have been since we got assigned our bedrooms. Honey, I, I see, Yeah, if I see you sitting around eating a donut. I downstairs. will just tell you, I don't want you or you or you yeah. or you saying, take the cream off, take this off. People need to keep their opinions to themselves. You're not my boss. Don't tell me what to do. That's going to push me to food. Bottom line. You tell me I'm fat, I'm gonna eat more. My first impression of some of the contestants was that they didn't have a chance. My weight compared to everyone else's here makes them look skinny. I, let me say this, the overweight lover is in the house. Oh. <laughs> I love Maurice, but the thing is though, He's gonna as of right now, no, he, he can lose a lot of weight really quick, but the thing is, at least his first week, he's not going to be able to do that much. I know I'm not going to be able to do much. So imagine, you know what I mean? But you mean as far as like aerobics and yeah, stuff Yeah, like so I'm just saying, I'm like, so I don't think this week he'll drop a lot of weight. I don't think so. I I'm like the most competitive no person in the world. It's, this is like, we're, we're dominating. I realize that there will be times I may not be able to lose as much weight as other people. Like Maurice, he can shed pounds like crazy. I'm not worried about him <laughs> because I think I can make my body work better than his. I'm big, but I'm big because I eat a lot of late meals and a lot of quantity. I used to own a gym in 1989. I owned a gym and I was a trainer. I was in good shape, so I know what to do. I'm not right. kidding you. I, I do. You know what's great about being overweight, and I, I think you guys will agree. With me. <laughs> we all know so how to lose weight. I'll bet as, if you're yeah, anyway, you me, I've lost 400 pounds in my life. Fat people know more than anyone how to lose weight. The person I think that'll probably crack and bust into one of those temptation fridges first would probably be Ryan. 
I think that's because we've been here a short period of time, but it seems to me that he likes food a little too much. If we always go, whoever lost the least amount of weight that week gets kicked out, then we never have to worry about anything. That's not fair because we're all here to lose weight, and so the people who are working the hardest should stay. My strategy right now is to just focus on my own weight loss. My strategy is keep a smiling face and keep going. Don't ever give up and never say I can't. It really boils down to what you really want out of this and, and how determined and how focused you are to make it happen. I would really like to be the biggest loser. I am definitely going to be the biggest loser. I will be the biggest loser. I'll be the biggest loser. I want to be the biggest loser. Biggest loser. The biggest loser. The biggest loser. I'm going to be the biggest loser. And I will be the biggest loser. I'm Jillian Michaels. I'm a fitness trainer from Los Angeles, California. My fitness philosophy, I like to push people very hard. This is how the army does it. You get up in the morning, you run five miles. You get up the next day, you run 10 miles. You get up the next day, that's how it works. They're in my army here. <laughs> Team, please stand up and come downstairs and follow me to the gym. Nice. I'm Bob Harper. I'm a fitness trainer from Nashville, Tennessee. With my fitness philosophy, burnout is never an option. My main focus is to make it fun so they do want to come back and to get results. I have no interest in drilling them into the ground or pushing them beyond their limits. Is the blue team up there? Yeah. Do you guys want to come down here? <laughs> How's it going? I'm Bob. Bob, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. Yeah, Let's go outside. Working out with me for the first time can be rough on a person, and often they throw up and, and cry. So I'm just going to bounce it up. And I take it in front, high knees, right here. Pick him up. My first impression of Jillian was she's tough. She's one tough chick. Pick him up, pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. Faster, faster, faster. Tush down, head forward. 15 push ups out of all of you. We're not going to stop until I get him. One more. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, jeez. Number you just did, do that again and two more. The more we know about each other, the better. It was very important to me to get to know them, figuring out what they do and how I can put that into their workouts. I grew up fat, you know, and like growing up fat, it's, it's rough. We sat down and Bob tapped in, I feel like. I have a sense about people, and right when I saw Bob, I was like, this guy can do it. I saw Jillian and I was like, that chick's hot, but I didn't know if she could do it. Can we see your squat one more time? When we said no, she said yes. When we said we couldn't do it, she did it with us get much lower than that. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're going to need to get a little lower than that. <laughs> I can do this. Get down there. Five. If you fall, we do it again. Three. Come on, down. Two. Hang in there. Push. Resist against me. Good. Ten more jumps. You go to the beach. It. You know, and, you, and you're out there on the beach, and all your friends take off their shirts. And they're all, like, skinny and everything, and it's like, I don't even want to take off my shirt. Yeah. You know, I'm going to leave my shirt on. Oh my god. You see, you look great. Pick it up, pick it up. I really want you to push. I'm gonna die! No, you're not! The moment where the word I can't came into play, I was just like, I can't, I can't run anymore. One more. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Go, 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 go. Listen to me, listen to me. I don't feel good. Yeah, I know you don't. And listen, this is as bad as it's gonna be right here. I am pushing you, so you know this is as bad as it's going to get. All right, so now the worst is over, okay? You'll feel sick, you'll cry, you'll puke. We move on. Oh, it's hard. Listen to me. Say this to me. Say this to me. I can lose weight. I can do it, but I can't. Say, say it. I can 
lose weight. Say it to me. I can lose weight. Yeah? Can you? Mm -hmm. Tell me again. I can lose weight. When I was at my lowest point, the thing that kept me motivated was Jillian's encouragement and just knowing that I'm going through a life-changing experience and the first day is just going to be terrible. The first workout that they did, I pushed them. I knew when to kind of pull back. I wanted to keep their morale up. Who said they like beautiful girls as motivation? Oh, right here. This is it, girls. It was important for me not to break that spirit. What Bob was doing is he would have us work what I call circuit. On the mm -hmm. treadmill, five minutes. Come over here, lift this. Back on the treadmill, where your heart rate is up. Dana, how you feeling, honey? A scale of one to 10. Like a one. Like a one? Oh, that's easy then, right? Dana will be challenging me because she's young and her attention span is short. Can I go down to five? I'm on a I was really going as fast as I could. Bob didn't necessarily agree. No, but thank you for asking. So he's like, Dana, go faster. Dana, quit stopping. Dana, go faster. He wasn't going to let me stop, pretty much. Like, I had no choice. Hey, how you doing? Nine. <laughs> you look like a seven. I'm the oldest person in the house. And within the first few minutes, I knew things were, they were going south, quick. I was this close to vomiting. If I can work out before my morning cigarette. No. If I can work out before my can morning cigarette. Can I get help? Can you <laughs> hold him? What do you need? No, I need you to hold no, him. No. Hold I got him. Hold I got him. him. I got him. Take him. Take him, Jillian. Do yours. Yes. Yes. Break him. Break we him. We Break him. Matt, it's over. When Jillian ripped up my cigarettes and threw them on the ground, first of all, I didn't believe she was doing that. Second of all, I just figured, well, you know what? There's another pack upstairs, and I'm going to go upstairs and go get it. And, Matt, <laughs> if I find out that you've been smoking, they will all run a mile, and I'm not playing. So the next uh, time you light up, you're going to kill them. One last Let's go one. stretch. I thought it was a little cruel is doing a cold turkey, but I really, I do need to do this for myself and for the team. I'm not really going to be tempted to grab another cigarette because I think I'd be leaving <laughs> or I'd be beat up. Yeah, I, I went and told Jillian, you know, Dave smokes too, which I think kind of pissed him off. What, Dave? Oh, Dave, he Dave. just ratted you out. Dave, you smoke too. Uh oh, Dave, you got a time fist. Oh, Dave. He can't take the heat if you're not taking the heat. It's only fair. This isn't just a quick fix, this is a complete overhaul of their entire lifestyle. Would you rather me say to you, you know what, I want you to keep smoking because then you're going to eat less, so I'll win this competition? Do you want me to say that? No, because what I am saying to you is, at the end of the day, this is about you getting healthy. Right. And that has got to stop. You're quitting. Even though I didn't push them too hard for their first workout, I could see that these people were extremely out of shape. So when I brought them into the small gym for a cool down, Aaron just kind of lost it. <laughs> he was a man about it and he was strong and he just kind of excused himself, walked out, boom. I saw the look in the eyes of my teammates. All of a sudden, they were like, oh my god, you know, he's like the big strong guy. And he's the first one out there, splashing on the bushes. <laughs> Hang in there, baby. His group was behind him and supportive of him and brought him right back in. They came in so high because it's the first day and they wanted to impress. <laughs> and they got that. They got that feeling of success. goal here is to teach you guys how to live. You're going to learn how to eat and not hate it. The philosophy behind the Eat Less Diet is really simple. The goal is to burn more calories than you take in. The meals are high protein, high fiber, and low carb, and it's all about portion control. It's not so much about being like, you do not eat carbs. It's just about eating less than what you're burning. My Eat Less Diet, oh, it sucks. I feel like I can't eat anything. I was worried that it was just going to be no carbs. I mean, I'm sorry, but I got to have a little carb action. We're going to eat this plane? Yes, for now. I think the hardest part for them to overcome will be the portion control, which is why we'll be giving them more fiber and more green vegetables to try to help them feel full. If you cheat, don't lie to me. I will find out, so don't lie to me. It's not going to be easy to just 
stop eating cold turkey, but Jillian's not messing around. My diet is the Eat More diet. On the Eat More diet, the goal is to deal with your hunger before it happens. You eat four to six planned meals per day. It's about high volume, low calorie, low carb eating. Are you on this diet too? The first phase, is yes, I'm on, uh, I'll be doing everything that you guys are doing. But see, for him it's not a diet. I think that's one of the things we yeah. gotta get out of is saying it's a diet. Yeah. Diet makes you think that it's just to lose weight yeah. quick. I think one of my biggest downfalls is the fact that I don't eat enough food. I could go morning without breakfast, eat a lunch, and then, you know, pick at dinner. Bob is really helping me to have smaller, very well portioned meals, but enough to sustain me throughout the day. Lettuce is great. Le any, kind of any kind of lettuce you want to eat is great. I'm a ribeye guy myself. When Bob brought the plate to me, I had to look around for a second to see if he had left something off. I was looking for the meat. I think the most difficult part of the Eat More diet is going to be getting over the cravings. The Eat More diet, if I could rename it, I definitely would call it the Eat Not Quite Enough diet. the teams compete in their first challenge for a reward that could send the losing team to the elimination. Which team will pull their weight? No! Which team will lose the most weight? Because only one can be the biggest loser. I woke up this morning, the day of the first challenge, and I was definitely sore. Oh, crap. Your leg hurt, like, so bad. My leg's all broken. <laughs> I walked up to pee, and, like, I forgot. I thought I didn't have legs. My legs hurt. My abs, they're in pain. <sighs> when I woke up, I had muscles hurting I didn't even know I had. <sighs> but I'm going to stick it out no matter what they throw at us. I smell breakfast food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. When we walked in and saw the spread for breakfast, it was like heaven. You had your bacon, French toast, sausage, pancakes. No, there's pancakes! Everyone seemed to want pancakes. What if I just lick a pancake and put it back? I wanted that pancake so bad. Probably the only thing on this table I can eat is that plant. <laughs> Poor Maurice, man. He's just like, pass me the bacon. Mo, wait, wait, wait. Seven bacon slices, and that's all he ate. I felt my team might have been a little disappointed in me eating bacon this morning. Mo, when he looked at that sausage, we all had to say, Mo, Mo. Do not eat the sausage. Nobody should be touching that sausage this game it's just like in real life it's about resisting temptations and making the right choices especially just before the challenge wake up and smell the coffee you ain't eating it today's the first challenge and I am a little bit nervous only because I don't know what to expect when I got to the track and first saw the race cars, I knew we weren't going to be washing them or driving them. These race cars next to you are a lot like your bodies. They need fuel to run, you need food to run. Have you guys eaten today? Yeah, a little. Good, because these cars haven't and they have no fuel. You are going to be the fuel that powers them down this drag strip. The first team that pulls their car across the finish line wins. But. There's a catch. At each of the designated spots, both teams have to switch drivers. Okay, did I mention that the doors don't open? And what you're playing for? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What is that? Five pounds of lard. Ew. I know that doesn't seem like much of a reward, but listen, the team that wins this challenge gets to add this five pound penalty Whoa. to the other team's first weigh in. Oh. And that just may be enough to tip the scale in your favor. Woo. The five pounds of lard will be crucial.
When I was standing at that end looking way down at the checkered flags, I was thinking, that is a hell of a long way down there. Ready? I'm nervous. I'm anxious. I'm pumped. Set. Thinking, I got to win this. Got to win this. Run. So I'm thinking, run. Go! Left, right, left, right. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Keep going, guys. All the way, Reggie. All the way. Keep it going. Keep it going. Charlie, you're up. Here we go, here we go. Behind me. Listen, my wheel. Go, go. Let's go. Get it on. Okay. Come on, he's coming. Come on, come on. Here you go. Let's go. Pull. Come on. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Pull. Pull. Pull right. Pull right. You gotta help me. I'm too tired. Ready? Go. 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 Get out. Driver. No. No. Oh, 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 oh. You got it, guys. You got it. I got you, I got you. Get up here. No, 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 let me do it. Let, let go of it. Go! 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 To get to that point where I feel like I can't go anymore and say, you know what? The finish line's only two cones away. If I puke, I'm gonna puke on the other side of that finish line. And that's what I did today. And that's what I'll do every challenge. All right, it was very close, but the blue team pulled it out. Congratulations. Here's your five pounds. Those five pounds of fat that they received is really five pounds we're getting. So it's like they took a person off their list. We already had the red team beat, but now their morale is broken and they don't have a shot. When Jillian finds out that we lost, we're gonna get punished. When they got back from the challenge, I was really proud of my team, but I could tell that both teams were physically and emotionally drained. I'm just hungry. I don't know what to eat. The exercise, the dieting, it's all catching up with them. And it's affecting some people more than others. I think I just overate chicken. I don't know how many ounces it was a minute, but barbecue sauce in it. There's no portion, there's no control. Everybody's talking. I can't focus on anything. I could be eating less calories. Do you know what you ate today? Did you write it down? <laughs> Did anybody else in our group write it down? What is the point of this then? What is the point? I'm serious, there's no control. I don't mean one day I ate 595 calories in one day. It can't be enough. I don't know what to eat, Matt. I don't know what to eat. Maybe I'm just not eating enough and my blood sugar is low. <laughs> I'm telling you now that the next three days are going to be hell. Mathematically, they've got 0.8 pounds a person that they need to make up for. That's roughly 3,000 calories a person. A battle in a war. Okay. We have to keep our eye on the prize. I would like for us to do two hours of cardio tonight. Okay. I don't even want you guys to go to bed. I just want you to round robin. No going to bed. How bad do you want it? Push, push, push. Good. That's it. Little bounces. Go, go, go. Jillian is pushing us very hard. Last chance workout before weigh-in, baby. She wants us to sweat. Three, four. She wants us to burn the calories. It's safe to say I'm more exhausted than I've ever been in my life. Matthew, let's roll. We were working out, and all I can think of is I want to quit. Maddie, get down here. All right. Come on. Jillian is... Yelling at me right before the way in while I'm working out. Come on, Matt. You have eight. I'm trying. More. Come on. Eight more, Maddie. Do it. Three, four. Hold them up. Five. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I'm trying. Five more. All I can think of is stop. Like, I'm just so exhausted. And ten, nine, eight, 
seven. I think the longest I ever worked at at home was like an hour. So, and that was like doing those tapes or something, like five hour work. Uh, Ow. Uh -huh. There you go. Good, baby, faster. Tomorrow's weigh-in, and Bob's pushing us to the brink right now. Oh, son of a Keep bitch. your butt up. I've never worked out like this, ever. Come on, those feet stay right where they are. It's exhausting. Touch me. Touch me. This is so crazy, because the red team's working out harder, because we have the five-pound disadvantage. Don't quit on me. Stay with me. The blue team is working out just as hard, even though they have an advantage over us. Okay. Oh, Gary! So whatever they work out, we work out any harder. Go, 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 go! And then they'll work out a little more. Th uh. Then we'll work out harder. It's just like tug of war. Last chance. Let's go. Nine. Hey, Dre, what you got? Bring it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mo, eye of the tiger. Let's go. Get lower. Seven. Arms up. Six. Mm. Two more to eight. Push. Four. Let's breathe. <laughs> Two. Yeah. One. This is crunch times. Tomorrow, it's going to come down to ounces. That's it, overweight lover. Next. Whose hard work will save their team from going to elimination? The moment of truth is near because it's time to face the scale. for the way in I think um, because there is so much at stake I mean there's a person at stake and a person's feelings at stake I'm just exhausted and cranky and crabby God, I hope I feel better tomorrow <laughs> at this point like right now I'm kind of scared one I'm scared of going home and two I'm scared of staying here I'm scared of going home because I know I didn't try my hardest if I go home right away. Two, I'm scared of staying here. Because I know every single night <laughs> I'm going to be crying for my family. It's not about looking cool and grabbing chicks and, you know, being great because i got a beautiful wife who I love to death. And uh, it really comes down to feeling better and needing to make that change uh, for my health. And right now, I'm wondering if my body's gonna hold up because I so desperately want this. It's frustrating because I can work my tail off and and I can lose 10 pounds a week, and then if my team loses, it doesn't do me any good. up and the whole time all we're thinking is did we lose enough weight to beat the red team hey you guys it's the moment of truth the way in where all your hard work is gonna pay off even though we had a five pound advantage it's nerve-wracking on the first day of competition blue team your starting weight was 1537 pounds Red team, your starting weight was 1,535 pounds. Only a two pound difference separating you guys at the start. So now it's time to put the eat more and eat less diets to the test. And at the end of the day, I'm sorry to say, one team will be forced to eliminate one of their members. All right, let's find out which team is this week's biggest loser. Gary, you're first up. G-Money. Let's go, Daddy. I walked up to the scale. I was kind of nervous. I was hoping to lose between five and eight pounds. Oh, man. Oh, man. Minus 12 pounds, Gary. Woo! That just made me want to get back into the gym. Yeah! And got to keep going. You know, it's a game. More importantly, it's my health, and that's what I'm here for. Okay, that is 12 pounds for the blue team. Woo! All right, Lisa, you're up. Let's go, Lisa. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ten! Nine! Ten pounds.
pounds in one week. <laughs> Usually takes me two months to lose 10 pounds. Lisa, you lost 10 pounds. That is fantastic. But because your team lost the challenge, we have to add the five pound penalty on. So, so far, the red team has a total of not 10 pounds, but five. Mo, you are next. I wouldn't say that I let my team down, but I think I definitely should have lost more weight. I'm a little disappointed in Mo's weight loss. I thought he would lose more. Lizeth, you're up. Starting weight, 167. Current weight, 164. You lost three pounds. I lost three pounds. Everybody lost 15, 10. I lost three. I was embarrassed. I, I wanted to cry on that scale. Total weight loss for red team, eight pounds. Total blue team, 25 pounds. All right, Kelly Mack, you're up for the blue team. Let's go. Previous weight was 223. You are now 210. You lost 13 pounds. When I stepped on the scale and I'd lost 13 pounds, I was really excited because I felt like I was working really, really hard this week. 13 pounds for the blue team. Oh, Matt, you're up. Oh. Come on, Maddie. You got it, Matt. Your previous weight, 310. Your current weight is... I thought being called the biggest loser would be a, a great compliment. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! And if I can accomplish losing 22 pounds in one week, I can accomplish anything. All right, you guys, we're at the halfway mark. So far, blue team, you've lost 38 pounds. Red team, you've lost 30 pounds. Okay, Dana, you're up. <laughs> Starting weight was 175. Your current weight is... 170. You Good lost job. five pounds. I got real nervous because I only lost five pounds. One pound is huge. Five pounds, 22 pounds. You guys are amazing. All right. Boston Dave, you're up. Get on there. Dave. Your previous weight was 250 pounds. Your current weight is... Nice. Nice. Ten pound difference. 240. Blue team, so far you've lost 43 pounds. Getting very close. Red team, so far, you've lost 40 pounds. It's only a three-pound difference. Two people left on blue team to be weighed. Two people left on red team to be weighed. Aaron, you're up. Okay. Previous weight, Aaron, was 261. Current weight is... You lost 20 pounds, Aaron. 241. I couldn't believe it. I didn't know what to say. My mouth dropped open. I, I thought I would be lucky if I lose 10. When I saw his dramatic weight loss, I was like, it's it. We're done. Finished. Kelly, you're up. Your previous weight was 242 pounds. Your current weight is... 227. You're down 15 pounds. 15 pounds. It feels phenomenal. I have so much confidence in Drive to Win now because this has probably been one of the hardest weeks of my life. The fact that I made it through with those results, everything seems really easy now. Blue team, you've lost 63 pounds. Red team, you've lost 55 pounds. You each have one player left. Andrea, you're the last player from the blue team. Go up and get weight. Your previous weight, 215 pounds. Current weight. Two oh nine, you're down six pounds. Good job, six pounds. Blue team, 
This week, you've lost a total of 69 pounds. Red team, you've lost 55 pounds. Whichever team loses the least amount of weight, you're going to have to send someone home tonight. Ryan, it all comes down to you. If you've lost more than 14 pounds, your team wins. I've got knots in my stomach just thinking, please let me have lost 14 pounds. Brian, are you ready? It's money time, baby. It's money time, baby. Go get on that scale. It was kind of a lot of pressure because for the last four or five days, my teammates have been saying, Ryan, you're the anchor. you got to lose the most. you got to do it. All right. Previous weight, 330 pounds. Current weight... Blue team, this week you've lost a total of 69 pounds. Red team, you've lost 55 pounds. Ryan, if you've lost more than 14 pounds, your team wins. Previous weight, 330 pounds. Current weight... You are down 19 pounds. Losing that weight is a huge sense of achievement. And when my wife sees it, she's going to be thrilled. It'll make her smile, make my friends smile, and say, good job, Ryan. When I finally realized that we had lost, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. We killed them. They had a five-pound advantage over us. We still lost 10 more pounds. That's what's so hard about this game is you build the support, and then you have to possibly eliminate somebody. Blue team, unfortunately, you have to say goodbye to one of your teammates. I'm going to give you a few hours to decide which one of your teammates is weighing you down. So, everybody, you're free to go back to the house, and I'll see you guys later tonight. Don't even go there, right? You know, may maybe for you it's easy to f kick off one of your people. They would have to leave. You knew that before we came here. You knew that. All right. I'm sorry. Please don't yell at me. I get very sensitive. Everybody's mood has gone from like happy to <laughs> the blue team. They did not want to talk about the elimination process, but we knew that going into this people have to leave you know when you guys lost the challenge that i come and say oh how do you feel bummed no i congratulated you you know you, you you i'm sure you guys went through it in your head too what if we lose is our diet right is the trainer right are our people doing the right thing you know Absolutely. who's kicking it up so you know ev everything that you or you would be thinking is what i'm thinking now what i gotta do is just go back into my head mentally and figure out you know what what part of the chain is not you know stepping up the fact that i have to eliminate somebody tonight is definitely an emotional thing maurice and dana think i'm with them and they think it's all good yeah. are they kidding me i mean dana you know she she only lost six what she lost six pounds five pounds and maurice he only lost he only lost one more pound than me he's twice my size so it's an obvious clear choice to me whatever happens tonight each person is doing what they feel is best for the team. A determining factor for me is going to be who wants to really be here, who wants to be here to have a life change. Because if it comes down to who lost the most weight, like automatically, I sh minds will go home because I'm not going to lose as much weight as y'all. But I don't feel like that I could have done anything more because I did exactly what Bob said to do. It's who gives a that I lost 13 pounds? Don't say that, Kelly. Right? That is horrible no, to say. I'm, say I take that back. I take it back. I'm, I'm psyched about it. Unfortunately, someone's got to go home tonight. I don't want to go home. I don't. I could easily be the one who goes home tonight, and I'm fully aware of that. I would like to think I won't be the one, because I want to stay. I, I need to stay.
Watching my dad die from obesity and a stroke it made me realize that now is the time for me to do something about my weight. I definitely want to be here. I kind of set a goal for myself to lose 30 pounds. I've lost five, and I'm not ready to go home until I lose 30 pounds. I'm nervous for the possibility of myself being voted off, but if I walk out of here tonight, I have 100% started my life change. And I'm perfectly okay with that. Next, it's time to cut the fat. Who will be forced to say goodbye? I'm afraid that you are not the biggest loser. Coming up on The Biggest Loser. Welcome to your first elimination. Unfortunately, one of you is about to be the first person to be sent home. But first, Aaron, you were the biggest loser this week. How do you feel? I feel surprised, pretty shocked. I didn't feel like I lost that much, and I feel bad because there was a lot of times I felt like I had to stop working out when my team kept going, and they worked, I think, harder than I did this whole week. Mo, you lost 13 pounds. Do you feel like you did your best job? Well, uh, I feel I put forth my best effort, but next week, if I'm still here, I definitely will do better. You guys have been through a lot this week. Dana, you lost the least amount of weight of anyone. Do you think that you deserve to still stay? I do, because, um, I mean, I wasn't expecting to lose a whole lot in the beginning anyway, so I'm proud of all of us for what we did. Andrea, you lost one pound more than Dana. How come you deserve to stay? There's always something in the back of your mind. Maybe you could have done a little more, you know, last week or something, but I know what I have to give, and I can certainly um, benefit my team. Kelly Mack, who's not pulling their weight? Everyone's pulling their weight. It just wasn't enough this week. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to cut the fat. As we go around the table, you'll each reveal who you've chosen to eliminate. Mo, which of your teammates would you like to send home? Well, when I started out, I wanted to look at the two participants who lost the least amount of weight. I looked at them, and neither one of them deserved to leave. So the person I voted for was Gary. Aaron, which of your teammates are you choosing to eliminate? From the very beginning, I tried to let the team know that I'm going to do this every time with a clear head. And I'm totally thinking the team here. And I want everyone to know that I'm doing what I think will lead to a win next week. I chose Dana. I just think, Dana, I don't think you have enough weight to lose 7 to 10 pounds every week that we're going to need. You're young, you're 21, and you could go home and do this by yourself. Andrea, who are you going to eliminate? My choice came uh, down to a team. And so I thought of what would be best for that team moving forward. And um, like Aaron, I chose Dana. Gary, you have one vote. Dana, you have two. It's highly unlikely you voted for yourself. Who are you choosing <laughs> to eliminate? Honestly, I feel like a hypocrite because today I said that I didn't want to base votes on who lost the least amount of weight. But when it came down to it, I can't think of one reason that anybody needs to go. So since I lost the least amount of weight, I didn't want to vote myself off, so I chose Dre. Gary, you have one vote. Dana, you have two votes. Andrea, you have one vote. Dana, if you get one more of these two votes, you'll be asked to leave. Gary, who are you choosing to eliminate? My decision is based solely upon who I think will bring our team to the next level. And uh, I 
guess I'll just do it. I'm sorry, Dana. Dana, that's three votes for you. We don't even have to reveal Kelly's vote. I'm afraid that you are not the biggest loser. Hey, Dana. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid it's time to go. Bye, y'all. Uh... Unfortunately, Dana is no longer a part of this game. And I know that that elimination was really painful for all of you. But you have to stay focused and be strong and keep up your team spirit. Bob has like changed my life. I want to like truly thank him from the bottom of my heart. I have nothing but good thoughts to leave with. It sucks I got voted off. I respect their decisions. I don't necessarily agree with them, but I respect them, and I'm going to walk away with a positive attitude. I have every intention of going home with everything that I learned from Bob and my team. I definitely plan on sticking to my diet. And the next time America sees me, they're going to break their neck when they turn their heads. <laughs>